I am Lord Malachos. I was told you were coming and was given some background information. Your exploits prove you are capable, but I require more. The Organas have sent spies and several Padawan Jedi here to scout the Ulgo's fortress. I need the Organas dispatched. So put down some mines and check back in a week. That would be short-term progress. You must understand, Alderanians, especially Organas, adhere to a code of conduct in war. This is why the Organas must be shocked into hating the Ulgos more than the Empire or House Thule. Disgust is our weapon. If the Ulgos will not provide a sufficient outrage, a sufficient atrocity, we, that is you, must do it for them. Fakery does not hold up well in the long run. Fakery? No. Visceral reaction is my plan's strength. You must kill Organa Scouts and Jedi. Chop ting wampa la hagwa doi biska. The ultimate goal is for the Organas to exhaust themselves, bringing war to the Olgo's doorstep. Revulsion is the first step in this plan. I will give you atrocities. In abundance. Enthusiasm is good, but I do not suggest improvisation. We have here a kit containing common implements Ulgo soldiers carry. These items will give the act the homemade authenticity needed to convince a skeptical observer. <laughs> kill the Jedi, kill the Organas, use the tools provided and return here. It is not so difficult if you have the will. My scouts tell me you have succeeded, and the Organa frequencies are jammed with angry rhetoric. Any reasonable voice, including the Jedi, is being drowned out in their hatred of House Ugo. <laughs> it is too much to hope they will come to blows, but this revulsion will serve us well. Burn every farmhouse. I want every traitor smoked out. Every sympathizer weeping. We'll finish this later, dismissed. Yes, my lord. Ah, welcome to Alderaan. I'm Duke Keldus of the Vibrant Thulls. You've eaten, I trust? Seen the palace? Hunted some game? But that's not why you're here. The Moth sent word of your coming. I imagine the question of the Lenar pirates came up. You seem awfully eager to talk. I just assumed. The pirates have been on the news hollows. The people support them. Let me start fresh. When House Thor returned to Alderaan, our vassal House Lenar turned on us. We had to sanction their leaders. But the Lenars became martyrs, and their house soldiers turned to piracy. Their attacks earned them a reputation for heroism. Heroes can die. The hope of the rabble will follow. Overconfidence was the downfall of three of my ships. We no longer attacked them at sea. I put a sizable bounty on the pirates and doubled it for the populist traitors who coordinate them from the land. Yet the people, even the starving ones, refuse to do the honourable thing and alert us to the meeting places. Then my victory will be all the more demoralising to them. Your confidence does you credit. Our intelligence says the Lenars come ashore on the beach not far from here. No doubt they will be lying in wait for a target. Field, say word has spread. Collaborating with House Lenar's ruffians earns a swift death. You have culled their numbers and now fear is in full bloom. My lord, I need your help. I've had it with these thools. Always pestering me, begging me to send them off on some vital mission. I finally caved, allowed some of them to investigate a crashed Organa transport. Two days and still no word from them. 
Death is merely the final failure of the week. I don't give a toss about the Thuls either, but that shit may be important. My men downed a vessel a few days ago. It crashed somewhere nearby, buried under a mountain of snow. I asked for someone to investigate the wreckage when the snow thawed, and those twits volunteered. Like an idiot, I allowed it. It's high time the Thule started carrying their own weight. Makes you wonder how they ever got by without us here to hold their hands. It's possible the Organas were bringing in something dangerous. With the Thules not responding, that seems to imply it was important. I suppose I can lower myself to do this. I'm sure you'll have more success than those dandies. The crash site isn't far. Check the wreckage, find out what the Organas were transporting, and maybe we'll solve this mystery. Outstanding work on your part. Handled those droids before we even realized they were a threat. If only the Thules had been so useful. You, come closer. Let me get a better look at you. My lord, I apologize. In my abject stupidity, I did not realize you were Sith. Please forgive this unworthy one. Your master shouldn't let you out before you've been housebroken. I know my station. Allow me to start again. I am Farnatex. I was apprenticed to Sith Lord Mahish until he was struck down while searching for a Jedi in the employ of House Organa. My master was ambushed in the mountains by a force of aliens, loathsome Advazek. They were trained in special arts, and they slew him. Your master must not have been very strong. My master was strong with the Force. That only proves the magnitude of this threat. I hear these mercenaries were specially brought in by House Organa to target and kill Sith. If my master goes unavenged, they'll know their strategy is working. They'll make Alderaan a deadly trap for any Sith who lands here. Murder and mayhem await. I feed off your zeal and vehemence. Be warned, when my master perished, I felt him fall, and I felt the blow that killed him. It came from a Jedi. Guard yourself well out there, for there may be true Jedi hidden in the ranks of these hired killers. My master is avenged, and the Empire is free to send more Sith to secure this world. Thank goodness! I've been requesting backup all day, but my blasted comm unit's malfunctioning. No matter. You're better than an army of reinforcements, my lord. Just what I require. My mission was to wrest the droid factory from Algo's grip, and my men were ambushed and killed. I need the job finished. I'm not cleaning up after your failure. There was no way we could have predicted Algo's ambush. That factory belongs to House Thor. Its droids were made by the Empire to defend and rebuild our crumbling fortresses. Since Orgo stole the facility, our progress has ground to a halt. There's only one way to fix this. Not without appropriate compensation. Don't worry, House Thal takes care of its friends. Kupa Tonti Toki Maki Chisa Chubolo Wawuni. Uwana Wada Blota Wijawa. Oh, Wama Wanka Matuske. Jack Daninchi Star Luca. Uba Ziki Danti Ruha. Inga Inga Kijita, Nini Tanu, Aleno Kwekuta.
kunta chuta kaso yali kuli ra kanki kum una kutaka pola kupi to opra chihuni pibuka Readings from the facility. The droid factory is back in Thal's control. Alderans, never felt so cold. I must have lost more blood than I thought. Forgive me. I hoped a Thule rescue party would find me, but a Sith. I am honored, my lord. My assault team was ambushed. They're all dead. Death is merely the final failure of the week. We knew the consequences. House Thule's special ops don't boast high survival rates. We were conducting a covert operation at the nearby dam. Ulga recently turned it into a military base. Orders were simple. Infiltrate the dam and blow the generators. Somehow the Ulgos found out. Tell me what this has to do with me. I just... When I saw you here, I thought we might have a chance to recover from this debacle. The Ulgos have elite guards stationed there, just waiting. I even saw one of their top generals. Thought I saw him receive a hollow call from an Imperial during the fight. Am I supposed to care? Whatever I saw, it can wait. The mission takes priority and only you can complete it. The Ulgos won't expect another attack so soon. You can blow up their generators if you strike now. I love the smell of fear. You'll get your new perfume soon enough. These high-yield thermite explosives will destroy those generators easily. If you find evidence of our betrayal, bring it to me. Don't get sidetracked, though. The generators are the primary objective. You've cut Aldo to the bone today, and now Thule will scrape their wound raw.